Hi, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here at a new construction home in uh, Northwest Hills in Austin. This, this house overlooks the uh, 360 bridge, and uh, we're on kind of a tall lot. It's, it's a pretty large, imposing house from the street down here. Um, but my, my intention on the post today is to show you what we're doing uh, for indoor air quality on this house. So let's walk over here to the garage and let me show you what we've got going on. This house has a, a fairly typical two-car garage that you see in, in uh, a lot of houses. And um, we've got living space above us here. You can see we're on a trust floor. And then uh, through this doorway straight ahead here is the, uh, is the uh, conditioned basement space. And then through this door to my right here is a future wine room. And uh, the clients even did some neat stuff. They, they pre-plumbed this. Uh, you can see the condensate drain in there and the uh, electrical and uh, all the piping so they can easily add a wine chiller in here. And they're going to spray foam this with a closed cell spray foam in here and hang it with uh, a fiberglass backed sheetrock or a fiberglass face sheetrock rather so that someday if they want to convert this into a true wine room they can. I wanted to talk to you in this post today mainly about indoor air quality issues though. When you have an attached garage like this where you've got a doorway right here walking into the house, um, if we insulated this home in a very traditional manner, there's actually quite a bit of airflow between this garage and the house, and your garage is never a place that you want to be breathing air from. You always have smells from gasoline or car exhaust fumes or things like that. So what you can see is uh, the sheetrocker in this case came in, pre-sheetrocked all the walls between the house uh, and the garage, the attached garage, and then the framer... Uh, if you can see up there, did a real nice job of plywooding in between the band joists or in between where the trusses basically run from the house into the garage. And so we're prepped for spray foam. So we're going to spray foam the back side of this garage, and then we're also going to spray foam this whole ceiling area here so that the entire uh, garage is going to be totally spray foamed on the exterior so there'll be no airflow between the house and the garage. And then also we used, uh, we're using an exhaust fan up here. This is a Panasonic Whisper Green, uh, which is a fan which runs continuously uh, and then kicks into high speed when it senses motion underneath it for a preset period of time. And this is their newer one. Uh, I'll have to double check the specs, but I think it runs at about 120 CFM uh, on the high range. And you could set it to run from like 20 uh, to 100 CFM continuous and then kick into that high range from anywhere I think from five minutes to 45 minutes once it senses motion. So if you open this garage door, or pardon me, open up this, this fire door between the house and the garage, that fan is going to sense your motion. Or if you pulled in with your car, uh, it's going to sense your motion. And it's always going to be exhausting uh, air out of this garage. So this garage is going to be, in effect, a, uh, a negative pressure zone so that when we do open that door into the house, it's going to be... Uh, uh, it's always going to be putting, it's always going to be taking a little air out of the house rather than the opposite if this, this garage was slightly pressurized where it would be planning to put, where it would be tending to push air back into the house. So I'm looking forward to seeing the spray foam. We're just uh, about to pass some inspections and we should be spray foaming the back side of this wall in the next couple days. So let's walk back into the house here and look back at this. So you can see all the sheetrock is hung between the house and the garage. We're totally set for uh, spray foam, and all these cavities here that run through the band joists, this is really one of the key uh, points of this video, is uh, all those have been plywooded with a backer, so the spray foam guy can go straight up these walls and spray foam right into those band joists, and we're really going to seal off very, very tightly between the house and the garage. So if you're, if you're building a house with an attached garage, uh, I highly, highly recommend for your, your indoor air quality and for your family's health that you consider doing this on your house. This is really a best practice method of uh, sealing, insulating, and, um, and keeping your, your indoor air quality in your house very high. So thanks for joining me. Have a good day. We'll see you soon.